So here we have Jennifer <laughs> with Lana, her teacher. They're going to have a really lovely time with an intensive interaction activity. People who have autism usually experience a central difficulty with what's termed social communication. It can seem that interacting with other people can be the most difficult thing in the world for them. Indeed for Jennifer it can seem that she often prefers to be alone. She can seem more comfortable to be interacting with objects. But here Lana is using intensive interaction to help Jennifer gradually learn to take part in social communication with another person. To help make this happen Lana is using the usual principles of intensive interaction. Enjoy yourself in a relaxed and gentle way but don't do too much. Tune in sensitively to Jennifer's signals and mostly follow her lead. Join in with her, copy, imitate what she's doing and also know when to pause and to wait. Read her so that you don't do too much and give her time to process and maybe rest even within the activity. This style makes the activity understandable for Jennifer, meaningful, we might even say non-threatening, and it reduces the possibility that Lana's behaviour will get too complicated for her. Its early stages the activities are focusing on helping Jennifer to be confident and to engage with another person but through pleasurable daily repetition the activities will gradually last longer and they'll also become more sophisticated and more and more the content will also include what we could say is rehearsal of communication attainments like use and understanding of eye contacts, facial expressions taking turns of course in exchanges of behaviour and in in amongst this, all the time, Jennifer's confidence is growing. 